like to call upon Nathan and Missing to say a few words. So many old friends, aunties and uncles from my childhood today. Yes it is! Yes it is! I agree! Timber! You know, uh, you know, Thank you. Um, can we say a few more points? Good afternoon. Thanks, Nitin and Nitin. Thanks, and, thanks, and Nitin and Nitin, for providing me the opportunity to speak a few words in front of you all. Regarding my dear brother Sudhir and Bhaiya and Bhabi ji on the 15th marriage anniversary. Again, thanks to both of you for organizing and inviting all of us to celebrate this great event. Of course, credit goes to Rashi and Michal also. Without their approval, they cannot proceed further. Suri Bhaiya is the first member of our fourth generation. He, he came to the USA in 1970. And it, it is 100 percent true. Due to him, most of us and our beloved kids are enjoying a much better life in this great country, USA. God bless America. Both Suri Bhaiya and Bhavi Ji gave shelter to most of us at 5 Bayberry Avenue, Garden City. Therefore, I consider 5 Bayberry Avenue is my first temple in the USA. The reason is obvious. I started my career in this country under able guidance of, from both of you. Sudhir Bhaiya is a very caring person. For one example, only one example, there are so many examples, but I have to give only one example. I want, I don't want to get bored of you. I was, well, I was st staying with home with him. He figured out one day I did not go to the work due to some minor body ache, etc. Because I got this bad habit from India. He gave me a bottle of Tylenol and then looked at me and stated very clearly work should be your top priority and take Tylenol if you are not feeling well. Further, he advised me take a rental car. If your car is not working, the bottom line always go to the one. And I am following these instructions until now always carrying Tylenol. <laughs> he bought many laurels which were extremely proud. For example, he is the first metallurgical engineering from VHU and first Joshua VHU cricket captain, etc. And one thing I remember, he took about six wickets in eight runs against Jadavpur University. He always involved in sports. He is in USA for more than five decades. Most of you know him very well. Let me tell you something about his childhood activities. I will give you only one example here. As mentioned by nature, he is a very kind-hearted person, not involved in any kind of arguments, etc. Any difference of opinion with anyone to stop talking to that person. He's not going to argue anything. When my mom used to give me punishment for any kind of wrongdoings, pull your ears and up to the down for 100 times. For counting, she used to give 
the responsibility to Sudhir Bhaiya and Sudhir Bhaiya counting was like this. 1, 2, 5, 20, 30, 50, 60, 70, 90 and 100 with loud voice. Now let me tell, now to, let me share something interesting facts about my beloved Hindu Haviji. She is the daughter of my father, school friend, though she is Punjabi, but to my surprise she is still maintaining pure vegetarian. <laughs> Various Indian communities as a leadership role for more than four decades. We feel very proud while she delivering talks on various topics. Till to date, Sudhir Bhaiya involved in various sports and Bhaviji involves in leadership role in various Indian communities. Means if Sudhir Bhaiya treated as North Pole and Bhaviji as South Pole, then it is true. As per magnet property, like pole repel and unlike pole attract. What is called? It's a very pleasant day today. We are celebrating the 50th anniversary of Hindu and Sudhir. Uh, lots of memories growing up with Hindu. The one I remember distinctly was our mama who used to live in the ground floor of our house. One fine Sunday morning he comes up running. He said, what happened? He says, oh, there's snow in Shimla. So, let's go. Within an hour we packed, went to Shimla, saw the snow but nothing was open. The whole town was shut down. We came back down to Solo, we spent the night there and came back home. And that was one of the very vivid memories I remember. And again, I thank every one of you. I remember a, a, a small joke, if you don't mind. A very long time was asked, what is the secret of their long wedding? And the husband said, oh, you know, soon after we got married, we decided we'll go out twice a week. And that will keep the marriage fresh. We go out, have drinks, have fun, whatever. I said, wow, that's great. Do you still do it? He said, yeah. I go out on Tuesdays, she was out on Fridays. <laughs> so, once again, my heartiest congratulations to Sudhir and Indu. May God bless you with long, more, long, more hours, long, more years of togetherness. Your families, Nitin, Ritin, and your wives and kids. You have a very, very blessed family with you. And Hindu, today we love you very much. Thank you so much, Anandji. Thank you very much. Take that mic. Oh, hello. So many old faces here. So many old faces. Young faces. But you all look young. Must be the Botox. No, seriously, it, it's, it's, it, it brings back so many memories. It's like we went back in time, this room. Uh, amazing to see so, so many old friends of Indu and Sudhir. And, and us, you know, um, I'm the youngest in the family. The night, their rishta was finalized in our house. So he was visiting, his father came from, um, Jigdish uncle came from Calcutta. And my dad and his dad sat in a room and they decided these two were going to get married. And the engagement was like within six hours. And the wedding, I think we took four days to finalize, so like that, four or five days, the wedding was done. So, um, I wrote a lot of stuff, I'm just going to uh, go through some. So yeah, it's been, it's, it's, it's 50 years, um, and uh, Hindu, um, in school, in college, her friends called her Miss Imported. 
<laughs> that was her name, Miss Imported. And you know, the stylish Hindu Miss Imported. Little did we know that we had to export her shortly to the US. But we ended up doing that. So, guys, um, 50th anniversary is a milestone, really, it's in every couple's life. And it's time to appreciate the, the strong bond that they've had for the last five decades. It's, it's pretty phenomenal. So, I stole some facts out the internet, I'm not that, you know, good at writing stuff. But did you know that only one in 20 marriages makes it for 50 years? And I thought this was cute. It says, being married 50 years is a landmark newlyweds dream about. Those married 20 years wonder about. Those married 30 years puzzle over. And those married 40 years pray for a miracle. So congratulations both of you for beating the odds and being together for half a century. Always knew you guys had something special together. And, and uh, in my arms, um, so, so Nitin Ritin, you guys are pretty blessed being the uh, you know, kids of, of Intimates of Eden. So, Sudhir and Hindu, you both are, in, are our inspiration in, in you know, your own ways. Sudhir is a sports lover, your, your cricket in your earlier days, and then table tennis every Monday night or Tuesday night, was it? And then golf, which he can't live without now. And Hindu got into community service, and, and we are all blessed, and we all are really, really lucky in this entire community of Long Island and, and I want to say the Tri-State area, to have a community leader like Hindu uh, in, in, on our, in our family. She is the most underappreciated community leader that we have in this country. Yes. She's very much appreciated. So, <laughs> well, I do. I do. So in, in closing, in closing, a marriage like yours stands the test of time. At the 50 year mark, you wage like fine wine. They say that a good marriage is like a casserole. Only those responsible for it really knows what goes into it. <laughs> Staying 50 to years together as one is something that's not often done. You built a good life as husband and wife and beat all odds while having fun. So, congratulations to four friends and family and um, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Sudhir and Hindu. A lot of things said already about these uh, two couples. Um, this couple, one thing I think they forgot about Sudhir, he is a great sportsman also. And the latest achievement that I don't know if you heard of is what all golfers dream of, a hole in one. Now, Hindu has been a community leader for a long time and has been president of the Indian Association here. I'm so glad she was not born in the United States because if she had been born here, she would run for the president. And we, we would all be running in all of the states, working for her. <laughs> so, but Hindu has done a great job for Long Island Indian Association, and I think she is appreciated, as you said. Now, I, I do want to let you know, you may be wondering how I am connected to Sudhir and Hindu. Um, I'm married to Sudhir's cousin. Uh, sister, I was attending a wedding in Calipong in 1965, and I was on the bright side, and we were escorting the people from the doom side. And one of the gentlemen came and asked me, "Who are you?" So I gave him my little bio, told him who I was. Next thing I know, we were visiting Calcutta with my uncle, and I got an invitation to 
have tea at Sudhir's house in the evening. And we go there and we see this beautiful, beautiful girl serving tea to all of us. So I, had little, I had little idea, but I started, started thinking there's something going on. There was a, this conspiracy that her, his father was planning. Three months, a uh, month later after that evening, I got engaged to this girl. And three months, four months later, I was married to Sudhir's cousin, Pramila Jaswan. So that's, how, that's my connection. But that's not the end of it. After that, we have been to Sudhir's place many times. We have been out with Sudhir. Sudhir is a great host. And um, everybody who has stayed with him knows that. And we have been out with him to his um, uh, time shares a few times and we enjoyed every single minute of it. You know. Now, I just do want to say something about the anniversary, so I've written down some things. There's a comedian called Gacho Marx, you may have heard of him, who said that the most common cause of divorce is marriage. <laughs> now, Hindu and Sudhir have proved him wrong on many, many, okay, many times. They are celebrating the 50th anniversary, which is a golden jubilee. It represents a journey. They have traveled together with some challenging pauses and adjustments. Those pauses, I've got to tell you something about those pauses. Those pauses occur only when he is speaking in English and she is listening in Punjabi. <laughs> Otherwise, it has been a great journey. Look at them, they are laughing and smiling, and it makes you wonder if they are really a married couple. <laughs> so, Jimmy Carter once said that he wanted to drown his troubles, but couldn't get his wife to go swimming. I sent my wife swimming, and she came out a better swimmer than me. So, it doesn't work all the time. But let me tell you something else about. Um, love makes the world go round. Not really. Scotch makes it go faster. Yes. <laughs> and um, I wrote, I wrote, a, I wrote a poem from somebody for you all. Half a century ago, they say, a wonderful marriage began that day. Two beautiful people joined as one and walk together to make the living fun. We now celebrate these 50 years to partners in life in both work and play. It's our pleasure to share your golden day. Happy 50th anniversary. We wish you both many years of fun, enjoyment, happiness, and good health. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Dr. Richard Janessa. Thank you. We are here to celebrate golden anniversary, wedding anniversary of a very special couple, Hinduji and Sudhir Bhaiya. This couple has touched a lot of lives. Everybody in this room has been very fortunate to have met this couple. And over the period of time, they've been a big part of the, our community in Nassau and New York State area. And I have to correct my friend, Hindu is very well appreciated and respected by everyone. The anniversary celebration started in the Roman Empire. And in those days, the husband would crown their wives. And if you are the emperor, on the golden anniversary, you have to give your wife a golden crown. Sudhir Bhaiya, get some, some idea. I think it's time for you to bring a golden crown because Intuji, amongst her friends, is known as Jasiki Rani in Long Island. You know, what is, what is a successful wedding, I mean, long-lasting 
50 years of marriage anniversary. Sudhir Bhaiya and Induji earlier on must have said, what makes each other happy? And what they have done, they have supported each other in whatever they wanted to do. Whether it's political life Induji leads, Sudhir Bhaiya in his sports, and really this has kept this very, uh, marriage a very solid one. Hindu, if everybody doesn't know, 1965, I don't know what she was doing, whether she was in school or college, she collected money for the Javans and gave the check to Indira Gandhi at that time. So this, this did not come in. This idea of public service did not come in overnight. It has been there. And Hindu has served in many capacities. What I, what like, what I like about Hinduji, humble, humble, quiet, assertive, get the job done. And she is very well respected. And my hats off to you. Sudhir has been, when he was active in business, he enjoyed his business since retirement. He has been busy playing tennis. His passion is golf, and what I like, what I like about this couple, when I ask Hindu, very Sudhir Bhaiya, she'll smile and say, he's in Florida playing golf at our house, never complains. You know, that, that's something you have to understand. And they're blessed with two accomplished sons, Nitin and Riti, and two beautiful daughters through the wedding, Rasi and Michelle, and four beautiful grandchildren. What one can ask? And lastly, famous laureate, Shakespeare said, marriage is unmade in heaven. This one is truly one. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Bhuvi Patel. Thank you. Act to follow when you have to follow Bhuvi Patel. Now, I have written down everything here. If I had your email, I would have sent it to you so that you have predicted it and sent it back to me. And it would have not been this lengthy. So after COVID and even age catching up, I asked Usha, whose birthday are we going to celebrate today? And she said, no, it's the anniversary. I said, who's? She said, Sudhir and uh, Indra. I said, who are they? <laughs> so she showed me a picture and I said, which one is Indra here? <laughs> anyway, you can imagine if their marriage would have taken place in a church, the priest would have asked, is there anyone here who thinks that these two individuals should not be born in holy matrimonial. Of course, knowing both of them, both the sides of the aisle would have some people who would think, really, they're getting married? They're so different. And some men even have thought, is this marriage going to last? And here we are, 50 years later, now, John, John Gray, who wrote about men are from Mars and women are from Venus. So his inspiration came after he saw these two individuals. <laughs> it is said that opposite attract. And these two are a great example of that. Uh, now let's talk about Sudhir Bhaiya. The meaning of his name is resolute. It means determination. It means man of conviction. Unwavering man. We know about his determination to lead his life in his own way, on his own terms, without worrying about the world. We know that he has taken a refuge in his own company. He has, for most part, traveled the world on his own. 
But don't get fooled. Behind all that bravado, Sudirba still sings and enjoys all the social events where what Hindu plans for him. Hindu has anchored him, really anchored him, but he's totally oblivious. <laughs> now what can be said about my sister, sister Hindu? There'll never be enough. My vocabulary is very limited, but few things are there. Her name means moon. She brings the softness and elegance of moon in all her endeavors. Uh, I have sometimes joked about her. I call her a fresh kill landfill in Staten Island. Remember, from all the boroughs, all the garbage used to go to Staten Island. And it was a sore point. But today, it's a green oasis. It's larger than the lower Manhattan. And one day, it'll become almost a central park. Now, what's the comparison? Most of the organization in Tri-State dumps everything on Hindu. She gladly accepts it and turns it into something very beautiful. She works very hard without any expectations. In fact, she's the only person that I know who is selfless and has no ego. In Indian community, she's a leader of the leader, yet she has no title. So today, my question to this Indian community who hands out so many accolades and awards, where are all those things for Hindu? It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> the Governor's Community Service Award, where is that for Hindu? The Alice Island Honor, where is that for Hindu? Hindu has never asked for it. She'll never ask for it. In fact, she's going to scold me after this. But it's up to us to bestow something on this. So what does she get in return? She gets enormous satisfaction of a job well done. Sometimes she gets lip service from the community leader. But her greatest strength is us, the people. We love her, we trust her, we adore her. She's only one of a kind. If there were 10 or 15 like her, our community will be very enriched. So now moving on. Hindu and Sudirbhai, the greatest joy in their life is that the two local overachiever sons, Ritin and Nitin, who has brought two great women, Michelle and Rashi, as their daughters. In return, the law of their life is Mia, Kiran, Aman, and Priya. I told you I lost my mind. So today, Hindu and Sudhirvai, continue your journey, but not on the railway track. They run parallel, but there's a distance. Be the train itself, and go through the mountains and the valleys and over the river and through the tunnels, and see the world. Happiness, health, and longevity would always be with you. Today, Samir and Usha and I bow down to you with utmost respect. God bless you, and God bless this land of ours, America the beautiful. I think I got my mind back.
came here as a bride and within few months or weeks, I met them both at one party. And I went home and I told my mother, I said, Bam, I met and she's so nikuri. I really about to be friends with her. So my mother was fanatic about beautiful girls. So she told me, she said, Firuna Gula. So I invited her them over and they came. And from that day onwards, Indu and Sudhir became part of our family. She was our fourth sister who was always there for everything. And we really cherished having you both. So I have to start this with the Sudhir Bhai. I admire your passion, your dedication to everything you put your hand, uh, mind on. Starting from Hindu, your children, and number one, your sports. <laughs> Anything could happen, but Sudhir Bhai had to go for his tennis, for his golf, and most important, his cricket. And that was his passion and he followed through and through. And Indo, you, I think a lot have been said about you and I can't agree more than that. You have been a pillar of the community. You are a best, best person around, good friend there for all of us. I wish you both a wonderful, wonderful journey. Whatever comes ahead and have a blessed life. speakers and I am supposed to share this thing with Anamula Rao. We were given two minutes and one has been already taken by Shashi. <laughs> so we have one minute between the two of us. Speaker, <laughs> I tell you I want to make it very uh, short uh, because uh, I don't want to go into the big uh, introduction of uh, Hindu and uh, Sudhir because most of you probably have a better introduction than I do because you know she has been on Long Island and has been very prominent uh, community worker. Uh, I may know the days when we started the India Association of Long Island and Hindu was with us at that time. We are all come and gone, and Hindu is still there. I think Hindu uh, doesn't need any introduction. And only thing I can say about Sudhir is in three words, golf, golf, and golf. <laughs> now, Hindu is a very established uh, nutritionist and taking care of uh, health of uh, all the Indian in Long Island and other people, of course. She uh, got married to uh, Sudhir and they have two uh, lovely kids, Nitin and Nitin. And I think um, that, that says everything for itself, that she has kept the family together for the last 50 years. One thing I wanted to go away from what everybody is saying, that we know that India has uh, 12 Ranis in, in ancient India. They were very brave, very young, very beautiful and dedicated to their community. I wouldn't be able to name all the twelve, but I can tell you three important ones. One was uh, Rani Ahilya Bai. She was from Malhar. Then we had uh, Bai Tara Bai, Rani Tara Bai, which was uh, working with uh, descendants of Shivaji. And third was uh, Durgavati, which was from Madhya Pradesh, and she did a lot of work for um, their society and their kingdom. 20 years ago, when I started knowing Hindu and her activity in the society and doing a dedicated work without any self interest, I coined a title for her Rani Ki Jansi. Jansi Ki Rani. And I think, I think that, that fitted very well because she does work for the community, for Indian diaspora, 
uh, what what time she can get out of her practice and other social activity, but she takes it very seriously. I think today we were thinking, me and Anamala was thinking, to give her an official title. And the official title is going to be, yes, right? <laughs> Rani Hindu Jaiswal Bai of Long Island. <laughs> I would like to share a thought. Forty years back, I met Hindu in India Association. Since then, I noticed in all the activities that she has participated in, she is par excellence. Now, when I came to know more about Sudhir, of course, he is a golfer, he is an advocate, IT man, he has a lot of traits in him which few people can emulate. I tried to, but I failed. But I have to tell my friend Sudhir, is one of the best in the community, and so is Hindu Jaswal. I don't want to talk about a lot of other good things everybody spoke. I really don't want to be repetitious. We really respect you, we like you. I also joined my wife, Raji, in you know commending you both for all the great things you have done for our community. Thank you all. Thank you. I, I just you. want to finish it for a second. Um, this thing, uh, what Hindu has been doing, dedicating the time, probably would not have been possible without total concentration and dedication of Sudhi. But I think he didn't have a choice. <laughs> So I thank Sudhi and we congratulate both of them for their golden anniversary and we are looking forward for their platinum. Good luck. Thank you so much. Can I have the pleasure of calling upon Vasundara? Vasundara Ji, please come forward. <laughs> So we are, I know people have talked a lot about Hindu and Sudhir and there's a lot of similar things but we are here to do a little roasting and a little toasting that everybody said but a little bit, hopefully a little bit funny. <laughs> so as you all know, Hindu comes from a Punjabi family and Sudhir hails from a Bihari family. Nothing necessarily unusual about that but that their marriage was arranged 50 years ago coming from such different backgrounds was unique for those times. And that it has thrived and still going strong shows that they are meant for ek doje ke liye. <laughs> uh, it, like everybody said, it's going to be very difficult to find two people so completely different from each other. So Deer is into sports, like everybody said. Cricket, golf, tennis, table tennis, you name it. While Indu is a social activist on steroids. <laughs> she supports any and every cause, be it charity, patriotic events, or any other meaningful cause on earth. She not only supports, but to my amazement, she organizes and manages to be present at all of them. That is a unique talent. So once we, uh, this is, this really did happen. <laughs> once uh, we were at Sunil's house, Hindu's brother, and uh, we, his mom was visiting from India. Hindu got a phone call. Someone was asking for a social favor. Hindu right away came back and corralled everyone there to start working on it. At this point, everyone present, mostly her friends, started teasing Auntie Ji. And one of them remarked, Auntie Ji, tu si anu ki kha ke jammyasi? So for people who don't understand Punjabi, it means that, Auntie Ji, what did you eat when you were pregnant with Hindu? <laughs> So he likes to travel many times by himself. We will enact a short scene to show you why. 
I'm Sudhir, she is Hindu, and she's Ranu herself. <laughs> हम दो महीने के लिए साउथ अमेरिका का क्रूज ले रहे हैं। अमेज़न फॉरेस्ट भी देखेंगे, अर्जेंटीना और चिली भी जाएंगे। वाव, इंदू। सुना है तुम भी क्रूज पे जा रही हो, इंदू तुम भी जा रही हो ना? इंदू। नहीं नहीं, मैं तो बिजी हूँ। वो क्या है ना इंडियन एम्बेसडर का फोन आया था वो कह रहे हैं कि मोरोको इस सेलिब्रेटिंग देर फिफ्टीथ इंडिपेंडेंस डे एंड ही इनवाइटेड मी ही आस्क मी टू ब्रिंग इंडियन फिफ्टी इंडियंस टू रिप्रेजेंट द कंट्री ऑफ इंडिया आई बी हॉस्टिंग द मोरोकन फ्लैग एंड दैट्स व्हाट आर इंडो इज Folks, this is the secret of their long and successful marriage. They give each other space to grow and let each other be. A valuable le lesson for all of us. So while we were preparing for this, I asked my husband Harish to give me some insights about Sudhir as they play various sports together. Harish told me that since Sudhir is always out playing cricket, Indu once gave him an ultimatum. She told him, you either choose me or cricket. Of course, he loyally chose Indu. But then later commented, wahi galdi ho A piece of advice to Sudhir. Don't ever make fun of in those choices. Remember, you are one of them. <laughs> well, we have to say, Indu is tireless and selfless. Sudhir has a ton of patience, especially for his kids and grandkids. While Indu is like an energizer bunny, Sudhir takes everything in his stride. They have brought up two very successful boys and given them very good values, sanskars. And that led them to find wonderful daughter-in-laws for Indu and Sudhir. Indu and Sudhir are most positive couple we know. You will never hear anything negative ever from either of them. Another lesson for a successful marriage and successful life. So, it would not be wrong to say, Indu is the first lady of Long Island, <laughs> and Sudhir the first gentleman. Hindi mein bole to pradhan karyakarta aur pradhan pati. We have taken a cue from Indu and would like to do one of her favorite things. Indu and Sudhi, please join us over here. <laughs> this is a citation. <laughs> no, we are going to award them with a citation. And somebody said, why don't we give them any awards? They are getting one today. <laughs> so, we uh, have the citation. The certificate of the Certificate of Achievement, we hereby declare Indu and Sudhir Jaiswal as the first couple of Long Island for 50 years of togetherness. January 21, 2023, family and friends. So they say, marriage makes you live longer. This must be true because you have been married for an eternity. <laughs> Here's to forever. Happy 50th anniversary. I don't know if Sudhir has ever gotten an old citation. <laughs> I know everybody else on Long Island has. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Many, many more.
celebration of our anniversary plus the celebration of our friendship that has really grown and like I was telling them when you look at the pictures what a big round of applause of the pictures that they did. Bhabi ji, baby you are coming to me and with them mom can we get your pictures? So I was actually going crazy and Nitin was crying and I was crying and Rashi was crying. All of us, we didn't know what to do with all these pictures. Great memories from when we came to USA and great memories for where we are here right now. You can see our family. Few of our members could not join today. And of course I remember my parents, my mommy and papa ji, ma babu ji. Uh, they, are, they are always blessing all of us. And uh, you know, our vintage club that we have over here, we, they told me, Hindu, why do you call it vintage? So you know, this is, this is what a life is all about. And we really want to thank all of you for coming. And Sudhir, you want to say a few words? You say like that. <laughs> well, again, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks to Tina Kudalia, thanks to Upper Restaurant. And enjoy the evening. You're not going to go home because Tina has a beautiful afternoon plan. Thank you, thank you again so much. Thank you. One, one, one picture. One. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Picture, everyone. Akshat, make sure everybody's done. Yeah, yeah, I'll cover everybody. Everyone.
Hi, Sudhir Uncle, Indu Auntie. Uh, wishing you a very, very happy 50th anniversary. Saw your pictures. You're both looking so nice. Uh, I missed your function. Uh, wish I was there. Uh, love you and hope you have loads and loads of many more anniversaries. Bye. Take care. Hello, Indu Sudhir. Wish you a very, very happy 50th anniversary, Golden Jubilee. It's a great milestone for you both. Have a good time. Many happy returns of the day. Happy, happy, happy Golden Jubilee celebrations. We are really delighted you have completed first milestone of your life, married life. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Hello, good evening everybody. We want to wish Induji and Sudhirji a very, very happy 50th anniversary and many, many more to come. Induji, Tusi and Sudhirji, Tusi, number one, your 50th anniversary ke, uh, couple hai aap. Aur hum logo ne ye sab sun liya hai. Aur ab kehte jaisa sab log keh rahe We'll see you at your platinum wedding anniversary. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, heartiest congratulations to most one of the most beautiful couples of Long Island, Hindu and Sudhir Jaiswal, on their 50th Golden Jubilee anniversary. Wishing them all the very best and looking forward to seeing them again on their platinum anniversary on 75th anniversary. And thank you for having us and all the very best. Hindu and Sudhir, it's, it's our pleasure to know you for these 50 years and we enjoyed each and every moment of it and we wish you the best and we will be in touch and wish you all the best going forward. Thank you. Hey, congratulations for First of all, thank you so much. You gave our uh, family a start in this country and we truly, really, truly appreciate it. I still remember my formidable years at Five Bay Berry Avenue playing at that park and uh, and just just loving the you know uh, the start that you guys gave us. So appreciate it. Thank you so much and wish you a very very happy 50th and a lot more uh, uh, coming in the future. So thank you. Bye -bye. And, uh, um, happy anniversary and 50 more years to go. Right, thanks. Congratulations on your 50th anniversary. We wish we could be there, but you know, uh, it didn't happen. But when you come here, visit us, and I hope it's pretty soon, and we will celebrate again. And God bless, wish you many, many years of health and happiness. Bye. Congratulations. <laughs> Prabhu is man of few words. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Happy 50th anniversary in Dumasi and Sudhir uncle. We wish you nothing but the very best as you celebrate 50 years of your marriage. You're setting the bar so high for all of us and we all wish to get there one day. Thank you for all that you do for all of us, for our family. We love you dearly and we wish we were there in person to celebrate with you. But nevertheless, we send all our love and best wishes. Happy anniversary, Indu Masi and Sudhir Uncle. Hi, Indu Auntie and Sudhir Uncle. Uh, we wanted to wish you a very happy 50th uh, wedding anniversary. Happy 50th wedding anniversary, Auntie and Uncle. And uh, we wish we were there with you to celebrate. Uh, but apologies, we couldn't make it there to New York this time. Uh, we do hope that you had a, a, a memorable uh, occasion, memorable party and uh, we'll definitely celebrate next time we uh, come out to New York. Thank you. Bye. Miss you. Hi. To my dearest Bhaiya and Bhabi, wishing you a very happy wedding anniversary. May you have very many, many more happiness together. With best wishes, your sister, 
Asha. Hello, wishing both of you a very happy married 50th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Happy anniversary. And hope you many more glorious years to come. Happy 50th anniversary, Daddy and Dada. We love you so much. Happy 50th anniversary, Daddy and Dada. I love you.